Thank you. Good morning. Uh, for a few minutes, I would uh, I would like to take you to a walk to, to the forest in north part of Poland. Here we cut Poland, and uh, we will go here. This uh, north north pa part of our country. It's called uh, Bore Bore Tucholsky Forest. It's an uh, old forest, almost. Uh, it has almost 200 years. But first, I would like to talk about this dual portal GovPL. It's a um, power. It this portal give us a powerful uh, tool called digital uh, evaluation model ISO here. Uh, here uh, according to this tool, we managed to found. Uh, we, we can talk about. Uh, something like revolution in archaeology in Poland because we managed to found in last year uh, many new new archaeological sites here here we've got uh, a cover of this layer it's almost whole Poland this white uh, thinks it's not this layer and it's a sample of this uh, layer. It's, as you can see, it's hillshade. We've got proper properties of this DTM based of is a point cloud. Uh, it's four four points per squ square meter. Uh, digital terrain model of cell size uh, half a meter, pixel size. Here, here we've got um, hillshade as a method of uh, imaging surface. And as you can see on this side, uh, sample, this kind of imagine is good for object to uh, which has a permanent terrain form, like this, uh, uh, like this uh, object. But there is a problem with object to with small exposure. Uh, and uh, while browsing uh, the image of obtained thanks to the TM, we came across a dozen of mysterious objects hidden in the forest of northern Poland. Uh, here we've got samples. As you can see, it's a poorly noticeable circle. Uh, here we've got one, and as we further see, there would be a to another uh, circle. It's another sample, and another, it's uh, about uh, I think 14, 14 or 15 uh, circles here. What uh, what we have? We decide to uh, undertake research on this object in order to determine their origin and function, and the main research problem: what we are facing. Contem contemporary object connected with Second War <laughs> World War forestry, or maybe it's uh, th th there are prehistoric objects. Uh, first of all, we decided to focus on non-invasive analysis and collect as much information as possible on their basis. Thanks to uh, the av availability of ISOC, uh, DTM analysis uh, initiated uh, our research on these objects and the main goals of using existing uh, point clouds was improving the res uh, resolution and the ability to assess the range of the form of the objects. And there, uh, there, were not there, there was another question, the possibility of interpretation. <sighs> and Analysis, assumption, and metal steers. As I said, key feature was to uh, use the ISOC point cloud, 4.4 square meter. The next step was data preparation. We have to improve the resolution of DTM based on new DTM based on ISOC cloud. As I said, uh, as I said, uh, there there was a train digital train model of cell size of uh, half a meter, and we decided to uh, to improve the uh, resolution and create a new uh, digital terrain model model of cell size of 
10 centimeters. Uh, and key feature is that all further analysis were was done on this DTM, uh, this small uh, DTM of cell size 10 centimeters. And we did a few analyses that I would like to show. First, first was hill shade analysis. Uh, in our case, uh, we create. We decided to change the angle of incidence parameter to ten to twenty degrees, which resulted resulted in improved visibility and extended shadows, leading to the increased contrast of our objects. Next step was to ad adjusting the azimuth value so that the shadows of neighboring terrain forms do not obscure the object. And here we've got sample. Mm, it's one of the circle you've seen before. It's more visible now. It's a new hill shade for this one, uh, according to our new DTM model. Next analysis was visibility analysis. We decided to uh, uh, set a point of observation, center point of the object uh, were, uh, were chosen, and the height of the observation point was defined at, at two meters above the terrain. All analyses indicated unlimited possibilities of observation of the horizon up to one kilometer in the direction of mm, mainly east, northeast, east, and southeast. Uh, here is the sample. Uh, as you can see, this this uh, sample is made for this center of this object. As you can see, all green color. It's everything visible for for uh, center of this uh, this uh, object for us uh, key key, vis key 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 visibility is here this direction uh, because we noticed that uh, in in the winter uh, there if we uh, put a line here of uh, the center of this object and between these two here we've got a uh, sunrise on, on uh, winter. Mm. Next anal analysis was morphometric. Uh, morphometric uh, analysis. Uh, this analysis used a multi-scale approach by fitting quadratic parameter parameters to any size window to de derive slope, aspect, and curvates curvatures for subsequent classification of uh, morphometric features, the peak ridges, spaces, channels, pits, and planes. Uh, the rendering consisted, consisted of manual mod modulating the storygram of to reduce noise and overlaying with hill shade cells uh, 10 centimeter. Uh, this method was proposed in 1996. We've got references, and here we've got samples of these analyses. As you can see, it's much more clear view for this object. Uh, we can see now all our objects here and other uh, features, such uh, traces of flowing. Here we've got our objects. Uh, this one is here, but the most important things we will see here. Uh, as you remember, I, I was ta I, I told about two to another cycles, and here we've got one big and two small cycle. Here it's one. This analysis gives us a nice view of forestry and other 
other uh, other uh, other um, other things. Uh, we can see a single trace of flowing here and here and the shape of our object. And here's another. Last analysis was uh, local re relief model. Uh, in the art case, using a uh, toolbox was performed with the standard parameters radius uh, 25 rectangle for the raster, cell size 10 centimeters. Uh, as obtained the raster was rendered by data classification using the method of standard deviation with the value of parameter 1.5 and overlaying with hill shade cell, cell size 10 centimeters. As a result, uh, we get the micro relief model of terrain, uh, especially with visible darks. Thanks to this analysis, we managed to see objects that was destroyed by, by uh, forestry. Okay, thanks. Uh, here we've got references, and here is sample. As you can see, we managed to see un un something we cannot see. With uh, without this analysis, here we've got our cycle destroyed for forestry, and and uh, we we noticed we have something in in the middle of of this site object. Uh, conclusion: What we've got visual 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 visualization of our of objects that have not been seen so far. Uh, assessment of the preservation and visualization of the process that took place on the object, traces of plowing, forestry and, and other things. Determining the visible boundaries of our objects. Initial interpretation and uh, development of new visual visualization map method or, or new tool, especially these uh, morphometric features used to small, small uh, scales. And thank you for your attention.